Hi, here's another tutorial of mine on how to make TouchFed Pro, which is an application, work in your iPod Touch or iPhone. TouchFed Pro is an application which can basically let you use your iPod or iPhone touchscreen as a mouse, like a laptop mouse, for your Windows PC. There's a version for Mac, but right now this is a tutorial for only Windows. So, the first step is to download a program called Tight VNC. Even though it says Win VNC there, it's basically Tight VNC. I don't know why they changed the name, but anyway. So, after downloading it, you should have um, a Wi Fi connection ready for your iPod or iPhone. So, we open it, and you should see a V icon there. If you can't see it, well. And then, just by putting your mouse on top of it, a window should come up saying an IP address. Alright, I think it's disappeared, but anyway. So, after that IP address, you have to go on your iPod. Switch it on. Remember, you should have Wi-Fi active. If you don't have Wi-Fi at home, then TouchFi Pro won't work. Alright, so there's TouchFed Pro, even though it's called TouchPad. So you click on it once. It should be open with something like this. Okay, when this comes, if you want to recheck for the IP address, you just have to go on the V icon on this right corner. Open it. And you should see a place to put your primary password. That's where if you don't want other people to connect to your computer and control it. Alright, so uh, I've put a password as you can see, so that's when it's done. And you just have to go back on your iPod or iPhone. Alright, now we just click the plus here. And it says name. Name, you can just put any name for it. So let's put um, PC2. Okay, then address is your IP address, the one that I showed you there. By going on the V icon, you can see it. So the one that I showed you there will come here. Basically, let's put it. Oops. Alright, when that's done, it's the password time. So whatever password you put, you just type in exactly the same here. Alright, when that's typed in, the only thing you have to do, see there it says Mac mode, but right now we're using Windows, so it's no need. Media Server is another application which you can come to know by going on www.touchpadpro.com. And when that's done, you just have to save it. Alright, we've got two, so we can use this one. Alright. Look what it says. Okay, when that message comes, it means that you don't have Wi-Fi active. As you can see, there's no sign over there saying that Wi-Fi is on. So, nothing to worry. Just go back on the springboard. Settings. Wi-Fi. Just switch it on. Alright. You just hit tick there. Alright, done. So, now you can go back on Touchpad Pro. And if that blue icon is there, then you should have no harm in going on it. Alright, when this happens, this like this message will come like twice. Okay. Okay, when that black screen comes it means that it's already like a laptop mouse. So you can move it like this. And just to show you if it's working, the mouse is right there. And my fingers on the touch screen. And it's moving. Easier to show like this. That's how the mouse there. Alright, you can see it's moving. And basically, if I want to, I don't know, go and start.
Click on it like a laptop mouse. Where's the mouse? Oh. Alright. There's the mouse. Click and it opens. And if you want to go on my PC, just go like that and click once. And it's done. And then to go next, click once and it's done. Alright. So that's the iPad touch working. That's the touchpad. And that's the only thing for now. And then just when you just want to exit it, then you just click on the home button. It should be exited and be sure so that hackers don't get a chance to hack on your computer. You just have to go on this V icon again. There. Right click on it. Kill all clients. So that it just kills all the clients. And then you have to right click on it again. And do close type VNC server. Alright, when that's done. Then it's just configured, and then you can use Touchpad Pro as a controller for um, music, to play music, to play movies, to fast forward, etc, etc. Those functions, you could just see them by installing the application. Uh, to install the application, basically you have to go and add a source in your installer. Your installer. Uh, the source you have to add is um, community sources, and Touchpad Pro should come in that. And that's all for now. Hope you liked it. And uh, please leave some comments on YouTube if you like the video or not. And what errors I made and what things I should make better. Thank you a lot.